Welcome back to the Caratori channel. In this video, we're going to be turboing my car, but it's going to be a massive budget build. Today, I am getting the manifold ready. That's the main pack to the head. Obviously, all the parts the turbo is going to sit on and the flange. It comes as like one size. If you look at it, it doesn't match up. So, I had to do some workings out and take 13 mil off each end so hopefully it sits square it's kind of confusing but hopefully it works out all right well i don't know if that when exactly how it should have, but that's how it looks so far for one. There's a little bit of a gap, but hopefully that can get filled up with weld. Four more cuts, one, two, three, four, yeah. Four more cuts I can count, and then it should be ready. The manifold's all cut down. It all kind of fits, there's one that's a couple of mil out, but we're gonna hopefully try and get it with the welds. So sit here, all, uh, Flap this and wire wheeled up, ready to weld. Had to uh, squash the bottoms down to match the port, had to compress it in the vise. Went out and got one of them, so glad. But they've all been compressed down. As you see, there's a little bit of a gap, but hopefully it can be fi filled up with weld. We're just gonna tilt the end pieces in a little bit, just to buy them ones and then hopefully fill that bit up. Once that's done, have to get a hole saw for the flange. Drill a hole oh, and weld that on top of here somewhere, wherever we want it to sit. But we're a little bit far off of that bit yet. Liam's freezing cold. All his clothes are drying because we changed the tap and flooded this place. <laughs> <laughs> the tap's so f I don't even move this bag. Everything's still soaking up here. Ha. Ow! <laughs> Did it burn my finger? It jumped down my top. So we've ran out of welding wire. Liam's done as much of it as he can with what we had tacked together, as you saw. And so while we just cleaned it up to get all the uh, slag off it, wire wheeled it down, and uh, it's not come out too bad for a homemade manifold. Just need to get some more welding wire because someone used it all on their seat. Yeah, it's not too bad. This will be fitting somewhere, can't remember what way, something like that. Uh, easy. So, manifolds all been welded up and painted. This is an extra bit that's been on it. it got welded all the way through. Turbo flange. Um, I've got to drill out 49 mil hole. The only hole saw I could get was 44 annoyingly. So just gonna drill it out with that and then bore it out of a Dremel afterwards. And then this will be close to being done. So I've just started uh, drilling this out. It's gonna take a while. It's quite thick. You can see through the pilot hole in the middle how thick it actually is. Um, filling it up with WD to 
save my blade. I've noticed the, the WD's leaking out. So there's a little hole here where it's coming out of and the same there that we're just gonna have to try and fill up. But once this is all cut out, we can weld in here anyway and sort that out to stop that happening. So the hole's been finished and drilled out. Um, I got carried away and went too far. There's a hole there, you can't see it because heat wrapped it just to finish it off. Um, can't cover that bit. Just gonna test fit it, the turbo to it now, put the studs back in and hopefully it fits. So what we've got to do is we're gonna remove the engine, strip the engine bay, cause I wanna get it painted cause the car's gonna be repainted another color, but that's a secret for another video. Um, engine out, strip it down, paint a couple of bits and build a turbo. Oh, I cannot wait to pull my engine out to baffle my son. Yeah, you might as well just boost your car. <laughs> All that work for the smallest amount of metal as well. That's what I'm going to title this video on how to battle an LX5 sun. Oh, there's a turbo layer around, I'm just going to put this on. extra space in our room to do activity. We have our two engine swap bit turbos. Oh, you don't want twins. You've got twins, don't you? Excuse me. You don't want twins. Don't want twins. I've got twins. You don't want twins, I do. No, I don't I want a big single, but that's not the point. <laughs> I've still got twins at the minute, though. Baby twins. Baby twins. But big single is the way. Big single is the way. So, everything's disconnected. Let's uh, rip my loom off. Pull the engine off. Pull it off. Am I doing the honours or are you doing the honours? Go on that one. Go on spoons. Disclaimer, not my fault for snapping a bit. Oh, hang on. <coughs> nah, there's a... There's a ground. Is there? There's a ground. Oh, I don't need that. That was holding the full weight of the engine. Oh, we ready. First try, eh? Yeah. Here we go. Right, stack her up. Um, update, the bay has been stripped, um, Liam re-welded up my, my rail because I bodged it because it was next to the fuel lines when the engine was in I didn't want to do it. It's been cleaned-ish, we've moved the brake boosters today so I need to clean behind there. All the loom is pulled back everywhere, that's just taped out like that because I'm going to paint it. Um, yeah, that's empty, ready to be painted on Saturday by Lou, thank you. Um, the engine is in kind of pieces, um, valve covers off, intake, uh, exhaust is off obviously because test fit in the manifold one that Liam made. Intake is off, currently doing a water pump change just because it's there, I can do it, so that's all stripped out down here at the minute. I'm probably going to do a rear main seal change tomorrow, um, I was going to do it when we done my clutch, but I was too lazy and the state of my bell housing is disgusting, so it's it's probably best just to do it. Lawton got carried away with painting. Literally anything that came out of the car, he was like, let's paint it. So the turbo is currently painted. 
the brake booster is currently painted, the master cylinder, the water pump pulley. Um, Power steering brace. Is that? No, that's for the master cylinder bracket. For that. Um, <laughs> my, my intake, uh, thermostat, housing, and return. And then Liam painted this yesterday. And look how nice this colour is. It's so good. Um, I think that's it for the moment. Uh, I am about to paint, oh, I painted my radiator brackets, but they're pants. I just don't have to get rid of all the old colour. Currently gonna start cleaning this and painting it a nicer colour. But this is all the stuff that's come out of the car and it's in, uh, I'd kind of organized, but it's not. So I'm gonna get the front of this put back together, uh, water pump on, and timed up ish, hopefully. Don't know. Um, strip the red paint off of this and start painting it yellow, and probably paint my power steering pump. Breaking news. Probably paint my power steering pump and give it another once over. And that should be that, hopefully. Tomorrow we'll be getting running the vacuum lines for the fuel pressure regulator, uh, the fuel lines and coolant lines for the turbo, hopefully, and drilling a hole in the sump because sump is currently off. Everything is on show and sump's down here. It's all been cleaned out. Put my new baffling, so put a, under there, you might be able to see it, put a baffled sump in, a baffle in the sump, so when I'm drifting, I don't get oil starvation. So yeah, see what happens. Hello. So I'm currently looking for a route for Sean's vacuum line for his boost gauge. Uh, proving difficult, but we are defeatists in this crew. Can you feed it directly down? Because there's a footwell up here. Not really. It's so close. You can see it. Yep. Through. It goes like that, doesn't it? Absolutely. Yeah, that's perfect fit. Yeah, there you go. Actually, we just... There we go, you don't need one. As long as it doesn't move. As long as the gas gets over the hole, it's fine. Yeah, like that. Just, just tap a little... Drill a little hole here so we can get the bolt through it, and then... I'll just have it hanging out. <laughs> Do you want to exhaust paste the f*** out of it? What would you recommend? Exhaust paste the f*** out of it. You're the mechanic. If you tell me to do something, I'm trusting you. Alright, so this entire thing is going to be safe and sorry. 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 Cream pie. What?
feels like it's cross threading. Just get a spanner. Tighten it up. Oh, good, I got a gun. Yeah. It's never coming off. Should I just, should I just get my gun? That's definitely cross threaded. Uh, send it. Yeah, that's definitely crossed, but it's alright. I got it to match up twice. It was a fight, but they've matched up. It just takes a while. Got it. Huh? Oh. Whoa. Maybe. Is that back one in two? No, it's definitely. <laughs> Not. It's the bolt I put in there to try and annoy you. Thanks for at least stinking f***ing. I'll just take that out. Yeah, let's take it out of the way. What? Uh, okay. Digga digga it. Digga 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 digga. Uh, I don't know what the back one's about. Smash. We're on. Oh, we've melted it on back. Melted it on back to front. Done. Go on.